What's going on guys? Welcome to my new channel. Um, this is just going to be like a computer channel pretty much. Uh, just reviewing a couple of different computers and stuff like that and just little builds here and there if you will. Uh, like this one for instance is a Dell Octoplex GX150 I bought from a thrift store. Paid 99 cents for it. The CD drive was messed up. Uh, made a whole lot of noise and kicked the CD drive out once power was on. Uh, computer wouldn't power up at all. Uh, I pulled the CD drive, pulled the ribbon and stuff. I'll show you some of that here in a minute. But I uh, pulled all that and the computer seems to be working fine now. Uh, the only things I've done to it is I have upgraded the RAM. I want to say it's got 512 megabytes. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember what I put in it. It's been a little while, so I've messed with it. Uh, and it's got a 128 megabyte graphics card in it. Uh, decent running little computer. I'm going to make it a uh, older gaming computer for like Doom and stuff like that. Uh, it's got Windows 2000 on it. Um, decent running computer for what it is. Uh... There's some of the stuff on the system properties. It's Windows 2000. Uh, but pretty decent all around little computer. Uh, I actually pulled the hard drive that had some of the older games on I was going to show you, uh, which I'll probably do at a later date. But like I said, it all runs pretty well. Uh, like I said, for 99 cents, I can't really complain about it. Uh, here's the inside. It has a Pentium 2, which is pretty dusty. I just cleaned it not long ago, actually. Uh, small graphics card there. Uh, the RAM is right here. So that's a 256, and I believe that one is as well. It's not gonna, apparently, my camera's not gonna focus in on that. Um, let me see if I can see it real fast. Yeah, that's a 256 as well. Uh, but it had this ribbon that ran from this connector here and that connector there. It ran up, the whole connector sat on top of the bracket here, and it had a ribbon that plugged in here, and then the CD drive was here, and it had a, another ribbon that plugged into the CD drive. Uh, I tried to pull the CD drive apart, so if I could fix it, I couldn't. Uh, and you can't really put, you, there's no room to put a regular CD drive anywhere, so it's like a special order CD drive, I guess. Um, Got a pretty decent little power supply, which means you know you're not going to be pushing a whole lot of watts with this anyway, or power period. Um, I mean, yeah, as far as everything goes, I mean, it's it's like I said, it's decent. Uh, I'll be running games on it in a few days just to show, you know, just to kind of show it off for back then. And the case just it literally just folds up. Like that. Apparently there's stuff getting in the way. Uh, which would be this. Yeah, this the only major thing is that this power supply doesn't have a fan shroud over this. So, if you're not careful, you actually push into that and stop that fan, which is not a good thing. Uh, let's see if we can just move that around a little bit. I guess the ideal thing would be to stick it behind the graphics card. Uh, let's get the thing pushed down and get this back closed. Let's see if we can close it up now. No, it stopped it again. These things were not designed very well, I don't think. I'm just going to try to push it back down again. I 
Okay, now it should be good to go. I got it pushed in between two slots there, clearing that plenty of room. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and push this down out of the way too. Yeah, this this was not meant to go in here at all. Let's see, but yeah, like I said, the case just closes up like a suitcase, pretty much. And when you get it so far down, it will actually just click. This one's kind of hard to close because it's got that big ribbon and stuff in it. Um, as far as the back goes, it's kind of hard to get around here with all this stuff up here. As far as the back goes, though, as far as connector-wise, you have your printer, I'm going to guess that is right there. Get your printer. Uh, got two female COM port ends. Uh, you have your mouse here, keyboard there, Ethernet or Ethernet cord plug in here. You have two USB drives. You have all the audio jacks, the regular uh, VGA cable, and then the graphics card uh, VGA cable there. Power supply cable there. And then on the front side, the only thing you get pretty much is you get a headphone jack, two USB. This is stationary, it doesn't move. And, you know, like I said, unfortunately, that's not in there anymore because it didn't work. Um, Startup's pretty fast to be an older computer. It actually surprised me the first time I did it. Let's go ahead and shut it down, or we'll go ahead and just restart it. Okay, we'll go ahead and restart. And, like I said, the shutdown and startup's pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. And the 128 megabyte and the RAM thing it showed there was the graphics card. The only thing I've got to figure out too is I have to figure out why it's got a F1 having to hit F1 every time. A little aggravating, but this part here probably takes the longest out of all the rest of it. I'm not sure why. Like I said, I really, I, I guess I bought this thing about three months ago. Haven't really worked on it since. See, this is another thing I understand. It's showing Windows 2000 Professional there, XP there, but if you click on XP, uh, instead of that, you click it. It pulls that up. Like, I don't understand if any of you know what is going on with that in the... Please leave in the comments because I'm so confused on why it keeps popping that up. I'll restart this again. Like I said it's a fresh install of Windows 2000. It shouldn't even have XP on there. I don't know if there's a partition on there somewhere or what it could be. But it's really aggravating. But I'm not 100% sure what I should do with this computer yet. Um, I mean, if any of you guys have any ideas, I mean, that would be helpful, very, very helpful, because I think I would like to make an old retro system out of it, but I don't know what it would take to find the old games and stuff like that. I have a few sitting around, but I don't really have any thing that I don't think anybody would really watch, but... If you, you know, if you knew, if you know where I can download some or whatever, just leave it in the comments and I will look at it. But, you know, of course, internet on this thing really isn't even a thing right now because I haven't figured out how to get the internet working on it yet. Like, it'll load up, but that's about all it'll do. And that's that. Like I said, uh, just leave down in the comments what you think I should do with this computer. And it will probably 
happen because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this old thing. Like I said, it's just old Pentium 3 computer. I thought it was Pentium 2. Oh no, that's right. I have a I have a Dell that is actually a Pentium 2 in there that I can't get to work at all. But if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, dislike the video. And my rambling, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm getting new to talking to the camera and stuff like that. I haven't ever done a video like this before. They will get better. But, uh, you know, it's just going to be a work in progress thing. This is just a channel I'm starting up to see how it goes. If it goes good, I'll probably keep it going. If not, then, you know, I'll just leave the channel where it's at. But, uh, like I said, just leave a comment. Let me know what I should do. And I'll see you guys next time.